What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex, and this is Ask the Cheese Gaming, and I'm back again for another ranking video with my wonderful special guest, Durf the Cat. Let's see if he decides to... Nope. Guess he's gonna roam around again today. So we're back again. This time, I'm gonna be doing 6 through 12 on the Nintendo 64. Last week, I did 6 through 12 on... Or, excuse me. Yeah, last week, I did 6 through 12 on the Nintendo 64. This week we're going to do 6 through 12 on Super Nintendo before we finally close it out with my top five favorite games ever. So let's jump right in. We'll do some honorable mentions first. Same way I usually try to do these, we'll do them alphabetically. So first honorable mention I'm going to go with Legend of the Mystical Ninja. Made by Konami. Very wonderful game. There's also two Super Famicom versions of this game. So, unfortunately, I haven't delved a whole lot into this game. I'd like to delve some more. But, it's definitely one. If you enjoy kind of like side-scrolling action games, I highly recommend this one. So, next game. This one needs no introduction. But, unfortunately for me, it didn't quite crack my top 12. Though, probably that's just because I haven't played it enough. That is Mega Man X. What can I say about this game that hasn't already been said before? Absolutely amazing title. Should be a must-own for every, anyone's Super Nintendo collection. Personally, I think this one's the best one between Mega Man X, X2, and X3, but just my opinion. I'm sure a lot of people probably have this in their top 10, if not even like top 5. Next one, I'm not sure how many people probably know about this game. I think this game's really cool, and that is Shadowrun. For the Nintendo 64, this game is, its style is unlike anything else because it's almost point and click for an RPG. And it's like kind of almost sci-fi noir. So, I don't know. I think it's a really cool game. If you enjoy, you know, RPGs, on the console, looking for something different because you've played out your copies of uh, Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy VI. Check this one out. Also, quick note for you guys real quick. At this juncture, I do not have Chrono Trigger or Final Fantasy VI or Earthbound on my list. Mainly because I don't own any of those games. And I'm trying to go with actual like physical games that I actually have copies of. So that's why they didn't make my ranking. So let's jump right in. Number 12. We're the one of two red cartridges on the Nintendo 64. Maximum Carnage. Made by LJ. I really enjoy this game. Have quite a bit of nostalgia for it. It's Spider-Man. I think it's a pretty cool concept for the story. I like the idea of how they got the little comic strips actually in, in this game. Only thing that I don't like about this game is, oh my god, for a beat-em-up, this game is tough. I mean, this thing is just brutal in difficulty. It's like every single time, it's like, well, how far can I get today? Hmm, I'm surprised Drift the Cat's still sitting on my lap today. I guess he wants to be a part of the video, right? So, we'll continue right along. Don't think I've had a space shoot em up on the list yet, so it's time to show one off real quick here. That is Gradius. Gradius 3 to be specific. For a long while, Phalanx was actually my favorite space shooter, but then I sat down and started playing this one. I sat there, played this game for like two hours straight. I was like, this game's fun. Like just all the random weapons and power-ups you get. I'm like, this game's cool. Great soundtrack, so. I like Radius. And it's not stupid, br brutal, and difficult either. So we'll continue right along. That was 11. Now we finally get into the top 10. All right, all right. Now things get serious, right? So, number 10. And then you have the game that needs no introduction. Donkey Kong Country 2. Diddy's Conquest. I think this is the better game. And while I will say that Donkey Kong Country 1 has far better music... I like Diddy Kong more, so I think Diddy Kong, Diddy Kong Country game's a little bit more, uh, not quite as hard. I think Dixie's a lot easier to use with their little float mechanic. And also some of the little secret areas are a little more easier to find, a little more intuitive. 
So, number nine. Hey, bet you never guess this one. It's my ROM hack of Return to Dinosaur Island. I enjoy Super Mario World. Yes, I'm actually ranking Return to Dinosaur Island as the number nine. Is that cheating? You guys tell me in the comments, but that's my number nine favorite game. Fully, highly recommend this one. If you played out your copy of Super Mario World, looking for a fun game that's not brutally challenging, like one that I featured on the channel for Mario Monday before, and this will be making a return, I assure you that. So that's number nine. Number eight, we're cruising right along here with their six through 12, counting down the Super Nintendo games. I mentioned this previously in the one through five, which is on the channel. If you missed it, please feel free to look. Oh, my little Durf, Durf the Diff Kitty. This was an honorable mention. So it's going to be number eight, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. I would, surprisingly, I had a lot more nostalgia for Mortal Kombat 2, but as an adult, I just grew to enjoy this game more. I don't know. Maybe it's the combos. Maybe it's the fact that Jade, my favorite character, is in it. I like the fatalities better, the stages, so. But number eight. Got a clump of cat fur. Sorry. Number seven. This is probably one that no one's going to have in their top 10, maybe even top 15. But for me, it is a very, very special place in my heart. And I'm happy I have this in the collection. And it's actually my youngest daughter's favorite game. I find so much pleasure out of just watching her play this game and just letting her creativity flourish. So for that game, it's Mario Paint. So that's my favorite, favorite number seven game. I mean, come on, it's Mario. And number six, the game that just didn't quite crack the top ten, or crack the top five, sorry. You probably already guessed it by now. Super Mario All-Stars. I mean, come on, you get Super Mario Brothers 1, 2, 3, and Lost Levels, but oh my god, Lost Levels is so tough. So, you knew this one had to be in the top ten, right? But that's my 6 through 12, everybody. What would you think? Feel free to leave your rankings in the comments below. And like I said, stay tuned for next week as I'll go over my top five favorite games ever. And we'll close out the series with that. And if you'd like to see me do a ranking for the Xbox One, comment below. Thanks for watching.